Good morning, Virginia. This is Virginia This Morning. This segment is sponsored by GRTC Transit System. Crowded sidewalks, exposure to the elements are just uh, two of the things that GRTC is hoping to fix with their newest project. It's a transfer center that will help make your commute run as smooth as possible. Stephen McNally is here with some details. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning. Good How are you? you? Thanks I'm for having doing me. Good. Um, when all the people that ride the bus, um, I think it'd probably be a, 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 probably a nice situation to think that, well, I'm going to get on to point A and I'm going to ride to point B and that's where I'm going to be and I'm going to get, but it, 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 it's not always that simple, is it? It is not, and, and depending on, uh, on your route that you're taking is that sometimes you, it involves a transfer, so you have to transfer to another route, whether you're going east, west, north, south, and so what the transfer center project is, is it's really a centralized location in the downtown area where we can control those arrivals and departures in a more efficient manner mm -hmm. uh, that increases that efficiency throughout our system. Uh, currently, our, our transfer center activity takes place primarily between about 2nd and 12th Street on Broad Street, so probably 75%, 80% of our transfers are occurring there. So there's, there now, obviously let me, let creates a a congestion. It's, it's right there in that one area. Is there a reason Correct. because the north, south, and east, west come together at that it's point? It's just traditionally the, the routes from the old trolley days in mm -hmm. Richmond, uh, which our routes are designed around. We have a spoke and, and, and wheel type, a hub and wheel type of system. Mm -hmm. So everything comes downtown okay. and disperses out on the routes from there. All right. So that's the way it's developed over the years, and that's where we are still. So Correct. you're looking for a place to, and you haven't actually nailed down the, the, the actual location that's part of this process. That's correct. Right? Correct. And yeah, so what, what that involves is, is really a, a kind of a combination of meeting a lot of federal regulations and compliance issues in a, in a local site selection process, which is, which is difficult because our focused area is the downtown area between Lee and Canal and about 14th Street over to Belvedere. I, I remember from a scene before that um, uh, there are about 40,000 rides a day. Uh, and I, I remember that's, from that's correct. stories with you guys before. What percentage of those 40,000 actually have to transfer? It's a very large percentage, about 25% of those are, are transfers, so that's roughly 10,000 wow. transfer activity a day. That's higher than I thought it would have been. Exactly. So, so obviously the need is great. It, it is, mm -hmm. and, and and so the to meet that need is we're currently not able to do that, and it affects our our timing and our on our performance uh, at our various stops downtown. Okay, so and and the goal is to get these people maybe a undercover, and and b in a convenient location and and all the other things that need to come together. Absolutely correct. And by doing that is that we hope to construct and design just an iconic architectural image for a transfer center. And uh, there's many examples of those around the country that have done such. And I think the image that a lot of people have is perception is, is it's a, it's a uh, old bus station of some kind. And that's not it at all. It's a usually very modern 21st century architecture. All right. Well, you set the goals pretty high. <laughs> Absolutely. The, the need is great. I think we'll have a great solution. Well, with that many folks riding and obviously that many folks having the need for it, uh, you guys are working on it. Yes. Right. Thank you. Thank you for coming in this morning. Folks, you can find out more about GRTC and get up to date on the project and the information at RideGRTC.com.